direct link technique. This technique is one of my favorite because when it comes to memorizing general knowledge, it's very simple. Steps in the direct link technique, turn it into a turn the question into a mental image, turn the answer into a mental image, and you create a link. Here is an example. The length of the English Channel. Again, what I'll do is I will look at keywords here. Length is one, English is one, China is one. Can anyone give me visual images for this? Don't worry about the answer first, just the question. Ruler, good. T, TV, called standing. Because when you think of English, it represents T for you. English, what else can it be? For some, maybe English breakfast. Channel TV, that's good. So I visualize a huge ruler, a T and a TV. Five, six, four. What do I do when I have numbers? Five is seahorse, a pregnant lady, wheelchair, good. If we use a ruler and then a T and then a TV, we need to link five to TV right now. On the TV, I've got a seahorse. I don't want to visualize the seahorse in the TV. Why? That is two dimensional. If that is the case, if it works like that, all I need to do is visualize a whiteboard and I write my answer on the whiteboard. But it doesn't work that way. Visualizing a seahorse in the TV may not really help so much unless you make it three dimensional. And by doing that, I visualize a huge seahorse on the TV. Whistle, blowing onto a whistle, and then after it blows onto the whistle, goes on a sailboat. Or a seahorse playing golf, and then once he's done hitting golf, he goes on a sailboat. Perfect. Country with the largest producer of rubber in the world is Malaysia. Anyone wants to try this? So keyword here is for shortcut version, I will go rubber, I will go Malaysia. Largest producer, big. Let's start with Malaysia in this case. Let's switch it around. What can represent Malaysia, the country? What's the first thing that you see when you think of Malaysia? Durian with rubber band, good, nice lemma. A map, map two dimensional, KLCC, ringgit, flag. Again, try not to go with flag. In this case, I like the KLCC, the huge Petronas tower. Huge Petronas tower made of entirely rubber. Done. Link created. Exercise for you guys. Country with the largest producer in the world is China. To form your link, keyword here is largest. Producer, if you want, you can go with it as well. Tin is another keyword here. And China. Try not to go for anything two-dimensional, such as a flag or a map because over time the memory decay is going to be much more robust Mao holding a tin can good a huge tin can Great Wall of China Bill using tin yes good if a teapot represents China for you maybe a Chinese teapot huge made out of tin Australia was discovered by James Cook James Cook cooking kangaroo good kangaroo cooking jam kangaroo in a chef's hat Good. But again, who is James? How do you know it's not Peter or Tom? Who is James? You need to make sure that James has an association with you. James, James Bond, there you go. So you visualize James Bond, right? Cooking your kangaroo. Outstanding. Length of the English channel. Guys, try to recall again in terms of images. Start with your mental folder. Do not go with short-term memory bias. Because if you do that, it may give you the perception that, yes, I have encoded th this in my memory. But when you recall two days later, you may forget. So always recall in terms of images. Word to vision exercise. This is not really a memory technique, but an exercise. What you'll notice is there are classification of words, right? In the English language. Not everything that we memorize is going to be as simple as a noun or a verb. A door, a cat. Those are simple, but what? If it's like adverbs or conjunctions, what do we do? How do you come up with images? That is where the word division exercise comes into play. It helps you, regardless of the word classification and adverb, conjunction, uh, whatever it may be, you will look at it and turn it into a visual image. For some, it may be tough, for some of you guys, easier. Sunshine is simple, right? I can just visualize the sun there shining on me. Sunshine. What about a word like introduce? What do you see visually in your head? The first image that pops in your head is usually something that you try to use. Good, handshake. Person shaking hands and open a hand gesture, handshake, handshake, good. What about operational? 
not operation but operational opera good a machine running doctor operational machine gear machine machine good a lift surgery control what do you see what can be a visual image for control don't worry about the context remote remote control good sharing room robot good business first image pops up suitcase money suit and tie safety four people sitting and discussing good first aid safety hat what about activity basketball games events running games good for each one of you is going to be individualized personalized what do you think of that word people jumping swimming play good health hospital blood test heart shape hospital nurse red cross policies mp paper rules insurance document rules tax of paper contract policy makers what is the primary purpose of the word to vision exercise why visual image because that's how you remember yes 